Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome on board the A380. Please show me what you have here. Yes. So if you want to follow me, we'll mm -hmm. see some... Well, do you see how much space there is? I mean, name another plane where you can encounter something like this. It's hard to believe that this is a plane. It feels like the living room of some reception hall. If you look at the cabin, this is the widest cabin in the sky. The special showroom displays a variety of A380 cabin layouts, from economy to business, first and premium class. Cabins like these are considered the highest of chic. They're called suites here. Essentially, it's a small five-star hotel room with a bed, an armchair, and of course, a TV and a small table. If you wish, you can even invite someone into such a cabin. It won't be crowded, but that said, you won't achieve complete privacy here as the side wall of a suite is only 1.8 meters high. According to aviation rules, stewards must see what is happening to a passenger at all times. So now, as you can see, we're entering the business class cabin, and here we have beautiful armchairs that actually convert into beds. Ooh. Everything moves, everything goes lower. I feel like I'm in a spaceship in some kind of sci-fi movie. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. There's even a TV. I mean, well, yeah, I'm in the future. It'd be nice to fly in these conditions somewhere from, I don't know, Moscow to Vladivostok. Not like I usually do. Comfort is perhaps the main trump card of the A380 developers. This is where the main emphasis is placed. Airbus is especially proud that this monster has the quietest cabin in the history of world aviation. Standing at the top deck bar and listening to music, it's easy to forget that you're even on an airplane. What's more, in-flight comfort is created not only for the passengers, but also for the crew. Another of the numerous features on the A380 is that it's claimed to actually have the largest and most comfortable crew rest cabin. But it appears to be big only by French standards, as I have to tilt my head a little. Nevertheless, it's got everything you need to relax. A bed, a TV, even a phone. Basically, it's pound for pound a small hotel room. But so that the crew members don't forget that they are still at work, the affectionate French attached the sign one person only near each capsule, just in case. In fact, the dimensions of this compartment are standard for any A380. Everything else can be changed. Now the most popular layout is the passenger compartment divided into three different classes. In this case, that means the aircraft has 525 seats. But you can also order a setup where there will be only economy class throughout the plane, then the number of seats can be increased to 853. However, for some reason, no one has ordered that one yet. Still, the interior and the seat are, as they say, add-ons. The interior of the A380 will again be fitted in Germany, and the plane must fly there itself. To do that, after assembly on the slipway, it will have to pass an extremely tough exam.